Hi there, and welcome to our Let's Play of Scribbernauts. I'm your host, Chelsea, and I don't actually know what this game is about other than... Our story oh, begins me. Good. with Grandpa Edgar and Grandma oh. Julie. You might not believe this, but Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest adventurer. I don't believe him already. Grandma Julie would beg to differ. She was also an adventurer. <laughs> Edgar would what? often brush away vines or open doors thought to be undisturbed for generations. Only to find Julie was already there, having lunch. Oh. They competed like this on adventure after adventure. <laughs> on one adventure, Julie beat Edgar to the top of a long lost pyramid. How do you lose a pyramid? But the treasure she found was an engagement ring. The two of them semi retired to start a family. And they continued starting that family until they had 42 children. What? One day, Mom and Dad gave Maxwell and me two amazing gifts. The first was a magic globe that let you travel anywhere in the world. The second was the most amazing notebook. This notebook let you write any word in it. And poof, the word would come wow, to life. Wow, okay. Neat. Any word. Our parents were worried about us turning out to be spoiled little brats. So they sent us out to face the challenges of the outside world. Challenges of the outside world? On the road to the city, what would those we ran be? into an old man who said he was hungry. So we killed him. Maxwell made something to give him, but he played a nasty trick. It was poisoned. The apple was rotten. Oh, the old man spat it out as soon as he tasted it and was very, very angry. As he cast some sort of magic, he called us spoiled little kids and then disappeared. Oh. It didn't seem like anything had happened. But when Maxwell turned to continue down the road, I couldn't follow him. The old man had put a curse on me that was turning me to stone. Oh, no. We didn't know what to do. <laughs> Luckily, our brother Edwin's farm was nearby. Boy, you should have seen how angry Edwin was. He couldn't believe what we did to the old man and said we probably deserved what we got. Definitely. Got. Lucky for us, Edwin knew about starites. Starites are magical objects born out of the happiness of others. Oh. If you do enough things to make others happy, you will find starite. Hopefully, if Maxwell used the notebook's power for good, he could collect enough starite to remove the curse. Maxwell said, That's it! I'm gonna go and ruin everyone's and lives. Things for all the people I can oh, find. No. I'm gonna get all the starites in Yay. the world. I'm gonna make you better, Lily. So Maxwell grabbed his notebook and headed for the door. And this is where we start the game. We Okay, so what the hell this guy be Help Max. Use the notepad, so it needs to be an object that helps the pig. Clean the pig. Water? Oh. So I'm just scrub the pig. Rush. Um. Brush the teeth. Aha! Out to him. Clean. I'm so good at this game already. Remove. Aha. Too good. Then to increase the pig size. Um. Alright, adjective. Obese. With the talent competition, use an active great wings large enough to carry the pig. Need 
do. Um, rap, no, terra, dac, tell, wing. Peacocky wings. Uh, aeroplane wing. <laughs> I'll just do huge wings. Huge wings. There we go. So, aha! And then I put them on the piggy, and then I can fly. There's a flying fat blah, pig. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Blah blah. Uh -huh. Game's adorable. Can I win? That's not even a pig, that's like... That's a guinea pig. <laughs> yeah, we won because we cheated. <laughs> oh. Pick up. Yay! I did a good thing. I think I understand. So I need a star, right? Help the spell. Help the sprout grow. Yeah, Wait, what? Have it grow. Um, I can have a grow. Watch it. Oh, okay. How do I help it grow? Make a plant grow. Um, plant food. Use. Oh, I have to use it on me. Water. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, reset. Yes. Okay, so that didn't work. How many play? Okay, so. So. Water. I give it to me. And oh, so we collected. Okay. It's uh remove. Put it in the backpack. Backpack, yay. Help the cat. Fire. Ha! <laughs> oh, hold on. that's not gonna work. Oh, uh, oh no! I've killed the cat. Oh. Uh, ha! Oh wait, no, save the cat. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Solving all my problems with fire for now. Now play as Edwin. What's the tutorial? Look at me saving the world.
Clown. There we go. Yeah. Okay, the clown. Fix it. There you go. You don't need that anymore. He's like, ha, I'm tied legally. <laughs> Too good at this. Welcome to the Virgility Gallery. Find out if this was real or not. Oh, that <laughs> worked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> people. Um, let's not do that. Not that so... <laughs> you can have them shaking. <laughs> oh, things that remind you of Egypt. Um, pyramid. Landmark. Just ruined it completely. It didn't even end up in there. Never mind. I would find artistic. 
Uh, fuck. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Snow glow. <laughs> Purple. Purple panda. Damn it! <laughs> Horse. He's a horseman, but he likes horses. So weird. Um. So dumb. Yeah, too gay. The guide and crawler. There you go. <laughs> All right. Broken. Sleepy. <laughs> yeah. That took a bit of effort. There you go. 
Uh, kitten. There you go. <laughs> it gets a cat. This is such a fun game. I like this playing these things. Um, doesn't want anything. Okay. Oh. This is my exhibit. Wait. Oh. <laughs> okay, I wrote that one. Um, this is my exhibit. Uh, my pivot, old lady. <laughs> it didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> uh, George Washington. Uh, no. Um, Snowflake. Damn it. He wants a sword. Um, <laughs> that works apparently. <laughs> Yay! You're like. A globe too now. Yay! Uh, Alright, thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you on the next Let's Play. Leaders.